Hi, a Blue Yeti microphone. So I thought I'd try and improve my sound setup for videos. And I saw this on eBay for spares or repair and I paid £16 for it. And apparently the problem is it's got a faulty USB port. Now I have tried this in the computer and it does kind of work if you wiggle it around but let's see if I can get off this stand here. So it came with the stand and the USB lead and the little thing that's just rolled away there, the little cover thing. So I'll get these bits out of the way and we'll zoom down and have a look at this USB port. So I'm not sure whether it's a problem with the USB port itself or if it's something to do with the solder connections on the inner side. Now, perhaps this first pin here, so I can see those ones sticking up. Well, it looks like there possibly might be a bit of damage on this pin here. So that might well be the problem. Alright, let's see if we can figure out how it comes apart. It looks like somebody's already had a go at this because there's a screw missing there and I didn't take it out. Looks like there's a bit of rubber or something in there, but it looks a bit crusty. Alright, let's take this screw out. Now, how does this come apart? Right, let's see if we can take these knobs off. That may take a bit more persuasion. I wonder if I can get a spudging tool or something under there. I'll perhaps grab it with a pair of pliers and some tissue or something. Let's try putting some tissue around this. Right, there's one off. Let's try the same with the game. <laughs> These are fairly well on there. And I'm going to have a little torch and just shine down here and have a look. See if we can prise it up from the bottom, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to see if I've got some better pliers because these ones aren't round. So I've got some that's got like a round shape in the middle, maybe to grip this a bit better and lever it up. All right, back with some bigger pliers. I've just been over the workshop to get these. how well this is going to work. Let's just try it without. Well, it doesn't really want to come off there. Let's just try the volume knob again. Because I'm th I think this case slides off. I think that's the way it comes apart. that one off. Let's see if we can get this little button off now. I'm trying my best not to mark this but I'm just gonna try and put one of those plastic things underneath here. Right. that slightly but actually if I broke that I think we'll get away with that just just this gain knob now yes right let's see if this bit wants to come off now I'm 
gonna have to see if there's anything underneath this. Let's see if I can get this bit of rubber out. I think it's a bit disintegrated this. Yeah, well there's a screw, but I think the rubber itself is just kind of disintegrated. Let's see if I can get a new piece of rubber for it to go in there. A bit of inner tube or something, I think. Alright, let's see if I can get that screw out. That's actually very slack as well. So I wonder if somebody's tried to repair this previously. quite loosened all the way yet. Right, that's it. And that's the bottom off. So it looks like there's three connectors go to the microphone pickups up the top there. So I'm not sure how many microphones are actually in the lid of this. I would have thought there's going to be at least two. Possibly three. Let's just have a look see what chips is in this. Well, that looks like the main IC there, CM6400. I've got a CVLE from there, an F. T two four C zero two. I think that's some kind of switch and I see if I remember right. Or multiplex, I can't quite remember. I'm not sure what that I see is, but it does look like some kind of audio amp. We've got a five 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 timer there. I'm not sure what's on the other side of this board. Looks like it's got a big metal chassis all the way around it. I just think there's a great deal in there. Alright, let's have a look at this USB socket then. This has been changed before. Let's just zoom down. I can't zoom down anymore with that, but that, I would say, it looks like that's been changed before. Just by the amount of flux residue on it. And the solder in here. Yeah, I'd definitely say somebody's either resoldered this, or they've changed this socket before on this. Right, I'm going to bring the microscope in just to make it a bit easier, because I can't zoom down anymore at the camera. Just going to apply some flux on this first and then use some low melt solder just to make it easier to remove it I think. And let's see if I can grab it with a pair of pliers. It's off. I'll just use a bit of solder wick to clean this up. Doesn't seem to want to clear those few holes there. Let's just flip it over and have a look. Try adding a bit of fresh solder to this. 
This is just low melt again. Just put a bit more flux on there. And try using the solder sucker to remove that. That's better. And just give this a bit of a clean up with some isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush. Right, I shall see if I've got a new socket. Right, I've got a new USB socket. I'll bring the listing up so you can have a look. So let's see if this fits. about it. Let's see if I can get one of those anchor points first. Check that the USB socket's still flat. Solder on this one, I think. All right, I'll just give that a clean up again. There we go. Better than factory, as they say. Right, let's get it back together then. I think I'll put the two screws, I've got rid of the rest of the plastic out of there, the rest of the rubber, and it all deteriorated. I think I'll put the two screws in this part. So I think this went, those bits at the top and bottom, those clips. I don't quite see that in there. I'm not going to push these fully on yet just until I know it works. Right, we'll go and get the computer and we'll test it and see what it does now. Right, I'm back with the laptop. I've set up the software and I've put OBS Studio on so we can record. So let's plug this in and we've got the mute light flashing, let's just see, yeah that seems to work okay, it's not going on and off now like it was, so when you wiggle this cable before it will just go on and off, well that seems fine now, so let's pop this little cover thing on. I'll just set this recording. Right, so let's unmute it. And I've got audio levels now. I can see them moving up and down, so it sounds like it's working, or looks like it's working rather, because I can't hear anything. So, which one sounds better, do you think? So this is the Blue Yeti that I've just recorded on now. And this is my normal mic that's connected to the overhead camera, which is a... Rode Video Mic Pro. This is the microphone that I normally use. Now the only problem I'm going to have is if this mic is better, I'm going to have to record all of the audio on the laptop.
and then edit it with the video that's recorded from the overhead camera because currently the audio and video is recorded by the overhead camera but I'm not too sure on the quality of the audio preamps that are in it that's why I've actually changed the microphone from the internal microphone to the Rode Video Mic Pro. But I'm still not quite happy with it. There still seems to be a lot of background hiss and stuff on it. And hopefully I don't get this with the Blue Yeti. So let's just give it another test there. So this is the Blue Yeti microphone. And we're just going to check some resistors and capacitors with the test meter. And I'll say the same thing on the normal microphone. So we're going to check some resistors and capacitors with the test meter. So which one do you think sounds better? Please leave it in the comment section below. Right then, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.